Alison Jackson took many by surprise when she sprinted to victory at last year's Paris-Roubaix. Keen that the conditions, and indeed some minor course tweaks, don't in turn surprise her this year, the Canadian champion headed off with her EF Education Cannondale team to see what lay in store at the most intimidating race on the calendar. Lotte, can you hear me? Yes. Thank you, Noemi. Yes. Okay, thanks. Today we start from the first one, sector 17, and then we go until sector 8. We will do the rest tomorrow. Uh, the weather is, is not the best, and, um, and these riders have also been actually on the road for, for a while and done a lot of racing, so it's about keeping that balance. Not, not, I mean, do enough, but not do too much. Okay, so this is like the last left turn, and then you go uh, more or less straight into the first sector. Uh, the main aim is, of course, to see the run into the sectors, and then, of course, the sectors as well. Give everybody a little bit of feeling on how it is to be on the couples. And of course, also get some information about the left side, right side. Is it is it possible to choose a better uh, a better way to ride the couples? The rear wheel was like going a little bit, you know. Uh, the riders they will have the feeling on how how to ride it. Okay, if we can see that for this section. It's much better to go on the right side in the beginning or whatever. We will, of course, let them know. But when the race is on, you, you follow and, and you have to trust also your instinct. And, and, and you also have to stick with the decision. The difficulty here is that you can go left and then that is the best for 200 meters. But then after, you know, in the right side is better. And you cannot always do like this. And you are also in a peloton. So, sex are done. It's difficult to like really do a lot of training, uh, which is also the reason why we have to do as much when we are here. Well, I mean, that's the thing about this race. There's so much out of your control. You know, you, we do the recon to sort of pick your best line, but in the race, do you get to choose the best line? No, so you make the best out of it. Good luck, huh? Thanks. I wish, okay. yeah, I wish we had tires like that. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what we've seen the last uh, three editions is very different kind of racing. Yeah, it's still very new to us, which makes it open and exciting. One, two, three, four, complete. But it, it suits a specific kind of rider style, yeah. You need to have, for sure, you need to have some of that power. Otherwise, the cobbles will control you. But yeah, preparation is, is key. <laughs> Thank you. Every year the couples will change and the weather really makes a difference. And you know, where a farmer dropped their hay on the route. So you have to see it every year and basically on the week leading up to it just because it will change. And uh, know also where like the water is holding or even now um, it's wet and the dirt sides is where I always will choose to ride. And so you still have to figure out when it's okay to ride in those spaces or not. So, yeah, it'll be, it'll, I mean, every year it's gonna be a different storyline coming in. It's not gonna be one like how it was last year. It's not quite as bad as that first year. So yeah, we get a action-packed mix. 